Tumor hypoxia occurs when tumor cells are deprived of oxygen. Tumor cells grow rapidly and so the demand for oxygen quickly exceeds the supply of oxygen in the blood, creating areas where the oxygen concentration is significantly lower than in healthy tissues. There are two kinds of tumor hypoxia, transient hypoxia and chronic hypoxia. Transient hypoxia is caused by poor blood flow to the tumor, usually caused by irregular blood vessel structure in tumors, whereas chronic hypoxia is the increased reliance on diffusion of oxygen due to the rapid and uncontrollable growth of the tumour. If a cell is deprived of oxygen for long enough, hypoxia can lead to necrosis, a form of cell injury that leads to the premature death of cells in living tissue. This is particularly a problem when combined with radiotherapy, a treatment involving the use of high energy radiation to permanently damage the DNA of cancer cells, causing them to die. Any change in oxygen concentration in the cell has a strong influence on the effect of ionizing radiation, the kind of radiation used in radiotherapy, reducing the effectiveness of radiotherapy as a treatment for cancer. Some cancer-treating drugs also rely on oxygen to produce chemicals called free radicals, extremely unstable molecules that can cause severe cell damage in order to kill or damage cancer cells. However, tumor hypoxia also makes it easier to differentiate between cancerous tissues and healthy tissues, which could possibly make it easier to develop drugs that only target cancer cells, or at least cells under hypoxic or necrotic conditions.